Hi, this is Group Stay Healthy, and we're going to be relating the electrical activity of the heart to the mechanical event of the cardiac cycle. So, this yellow structure here is the conduction system, which is responsible for the electrical activity of the heart. And the electrical activity initiates the mechanical events of the cardiac cycle. So, the first step of the cardiac cycle is the ventricular filling. This is when the pressure in the ventricular is lower than that of the atrium, so blood from the atrium flows passively through the inlet valve down into the ventricle. In this stage, the, the inlet valve is open, but the outlet valve is closed. The second step of this cardiac cycle is the atrial contraction, and this is when the SA node of the conduction system sends a signal that causes the atrium to contract and causing blood to be pumped into the ventricle to fill it up to its full capacity. And um, this is represented by the P wave and the ECG. The next Step of the cardiac cycle is the isovolumetric ventricular contraction and at this stage the signal sent by the by the conduction system is now through down to the Purkinje at the apex of the heart and the Purkinje causes the ventricle to contract and therefore increases the pressure inside the ventricle. So in this look um cause blood to to flow back up to the atrium and, and causes the, the inlet valve to close. So at this stage, both the valves are closed. Um, the cycle is actually recorded as the QR, F and the ECG graph. The next stage of the cardiac cycle is the ventricular ejection which is the, when the continuous contraction of the ventricle increases pressure and then the increasing pressure eventually causes the outlet valve to open and then blood will flow out, flow out in high pressure. So that will, um, that will either go up in the, um, up in the aorta all the way to the body or it goes up um, up in the pulmonary trunk and it will branch off to the left or the right side that goes into the lungs and the last stage of the cardiac cycle is the isovolumetric ventricular contraction which is when the um, when the continuous flow out of blood out of the ventricle causes pressure to, to decrease and therefore the, the outlet valve as well as the inlet valve are both closed and the contraction starts to decrease as well. And this is recorded as a T wave in the ECG. Okay. This has been group Stay Healthy. Thank you.